Hi, Pastor Nathan Deck with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week, I want to focus on some commands. Not suggestions, but commands. Things Jesus said, you need to do these things. Because I oftentimes hear people think, talk about, you know, what does it mean to be a disciple? What does it mean to be a part of the church? What, what are the requirements? What, what, what are the things you have to do? Well, it might be a good thing for us as the people of faith to actually look at what Jesus said in the Gospels and specifically look at some of the things that he said we have to do. These, these are the things I command you to do. And one of those, the more, probably the most important one, and yet the one that we seem to always want to put to the back burner, is Jesus called us to make disciples. Matthew chapter 28, Jesus is giving his final words within the gospel of Matthew to his disciples, and he says, all authority is given to me. I have control over everything now. Now, now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go about living your life, and as you do that, I want you to make disciples, teaching them to obey all the things that I've commanded you to do, and baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Make disciples, though, is the primary thing there. It's not going. It's not the rest of the stuff. It's making disciples. Now, the way I look at it, I'm a pretty logical guy. I look at you. We can make disciples one of two ways. Uh, we can have babies and make sure that we raise them in the church and invest in them. And that's expensive. Whew. And it takes time. And you actually got to take care of those varmints. Or you can go out into the world. You can go out into places, highways, byways, all those fun places, and you can start connecting with people you don't know. Here's the problem we in the church have often done. We've gotten our little bubble, and we don't know anybody outside the church. We just don't. And we're cool with that. We're, we're good. We're, we're in our tribe. We're happy. But God calls us to make disciples. And so one of the things we have to do is we have to learn to break out of our own comfort zone and break out of our bubble and go and make meetings with new people. I, I do this as a pastor by going and connecting with social groups and, and, and things that happen, whether it's a chamber of commerce, rotary club, key club, any kind of club. I, if you invite me to come to a club, I'm going to come to a club. I like to go clubbing. The other thing is this, is that we are called to make connections with those folks. It doesn't mean you come in with the Bible and say, hey, we're going to make you a disciple now. And hey, listen, Buster, here's the things you have to do. No, instead we make relationships with these folks. We relate to them. We encounter them. We find out well, what's going on in their lives. We, we treat them like a human being, not something to be conquered. And by doing so, we share the love of God. And at some point, you invite them to be a part of something the church is doing, whether it's feeding hungry or, or offering a new beginning with clothing or food collection or shoebox ministry, whatever thing the church is doing. Invite them to church eventually. But that's one's the hard sell. Do the soft stuff first. Do the easy stuff, which is the ministries of the church. Invite them to be a part of taking care of a family that's that's grieving because they just lost a loved one. Invite them to come over to your house and bake cookies for firefighters or police officers. Who didn't want to do that? There's all kinds of ways that we can be the church and make disciples. Now, at some point, somebody's going to say, but how do you know when you actually made them a disciple? Well, let me tell you, Buster, you do know because there's a transformational point in their life where they're no longer on the outside looking in, but they're on the inside enjoying everything that you've been enjoying as a part of the church. There's a part that, that so shows in their life that there's more joy, there's, there's evidence, there's fruit. You know that you've made them a disciple. For too long, we put this on the back burner, and this is a command that Jesus says, go make disciples. This is not something that we have, you know, as maybe we'll get around to it in 2025. No, we do that now. We make disciples now. This is the primary reason for the existence, the existence of the church. Go make disciples of Jesus Christ and be better together as you're doing it. Amen.